What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, coming at you with yet another Halara review. So if you remember a few weeks ago, I actually did a full in-depth Halara review. You responded very well to it, and I really loved what I tried. So needless to say, we are back at it with a part two. If you have noticed, especially this fall season, I've been incorporating a lot of everyday fashion here on this channel, especially over on YouTube Shorts. And I can't stress this enough, but other than gym wear, I really love everyday comfortable fashion. What makes Halara unique for me is the fact that they bridge active wear and fashion. So for example, they have a ton of yoga-based pieces, but yet they also have casual streetwear as well. P.S. How was your Halloween? I had so much fun dressing up as Annabelle. <laughs> with Annabelle. All right, I had my little dolly with me. It was a great day. Ate some candy, enjoyed a bunch of Chucky movies. Hocus Pocus, of course. That's basically what Bay and I do on Halloween. We lay low, watch movies, dress up, and hand out candy to trick-or-treaters. I was gonna hop into decorating for Christmas, but I said, you know what, Ash, slow your roll. Fall is still here. We haven't even tapped into Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna really try and soak up the rest of November. This video is brought to you by Halara. A huge thank you to them for sending these pieces out my way to review for you. If you happen to see anything that catches your eye in this video or on their website in general, feel free to use my code AshleyGata at checkout. That will save you 20% off your entire order. So everything you see in today's video will be linked down below as well as my measurements. So how we're gonna do this is we're gonna hop right into the try-on. I'm gonna share with you what I picked, the pros, the cons, everything you need to know to figure out if Alara is right for you. I said this in my last Lara video and I'm about to say it again. I have to reference my laptop for the names of the pieces because they are dumb, funny, long, dastardly long, ridiculously long. So we're looking at the high-waisted backside pocket denim casual leggings in the color Key Largo with the Cloudful Halter thumb hole long sleeve cropped two in one sports bra in the color Turtle Dove. See what I mean? So I'm gonna go ahead and simplify that. We're looking at the jeggings with the long sleeve sports bra. I'm gonna start with the top because you're gonna be seeing this paired with a lot in this video. And for good reason, it's really cute. I thought this was a unique top because it looks like a sports bra with a built-in shrug. So this turtle dove color, it's a couple shades away from white. It's a super, super light tan. Keep in mind, this is made out of their cloudful fabric. If you've seen my other videos, you would know this fabric is very, very soft. So you have what looks like a typical sports bra up front. Nice rib coverage. It does have a built-in bra, which I really appreciate. I know the bra pad's a little bit crimped, but you can always switch it out for new ones. Very low support, straight up. It's actually connected to this long sleeve right here on the side and it twists right around here. But let's take a look at the backing, shall we? If you look closely, there's an actual belt buckle. I've seen this on a couple of their tops. It's really unique, but I don't really see a point in it. I don't even think it helps with adjusting. Like there's no size adjustments on this top. So after looking at the website, I noticed the model was wearing the butt, butt buckle. After checking out the website pictures, I noticed the model wore the buckle in the front. So perhaps I was wearing it wrong at first, but when I switched up and put it in the front, now I'm starting to feel like right here is just slowly falling off my shoulders. And I don't like that. I'm gonna go ahead and wear it how I originally had it. So this is how it originally came in. I literally took it out of the package and put it on as so. I like it better from the back. <laughs> that's, that's what she, what she said. said. So for me, it feels a little more natural wearing it this way. So that's how I'm gonna leave it. Moving on to the jeggings. Rocking these like it's 2007, baby. I used to wear jeggings all the time when I was a teenager. I don't know what happened. I like forgot they existed for a hot minute. I actually already wore these out to a baby shower I went to this weekend. Wore them all freaking day and they were so insanely comfortable. They have an elasticated waistband to create more of a form fit. Now these are high-waisted, just how I like them. The front is where it seems to look a little more printed and fake. The pockets in the front are completely fake. There's no actual zipper, there's no button, nothing. The back though, I'm glad they kept the integrity of real jeans, where they kept the back pockets here. From the hips down, there's no indication that these are jeggings. They look legit. This Key Largo color, if you look really closely, right around the seams, almost has a little bit of a, an acid wash look to them, which really makes them look legitimate. 
I am wearing a size small. I think they're very true to size, but if you're in between because they are so stretchy, I think you can get away with sizing down. So yeah, my overall thoughts, solid pair of jaggings. I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. Let's take a look at the padded off pet hair resistant high-waisted crossover plain leggings in the color dark cinnamon. These are like a plum purple. So I don't really know where dark cinnamon came from. So as the name implies, these leggings are meant to be pet hair resistant. Now, doesn't mean pet hair ain't gonna cling to it, but it's a padded off design, which means, and the hair comes right off. Now, unless you count Bay, I really don't have any animals, but I do go over my parents' house every single week and they are just loaded with animals. These are the leggings that I wear over there. I have a couple of these already, if you remember last video. So now I have another one to add to the bunch. I really do like the dark cinnamon color. I'm gonna call it dark plum. This is a really nice post Halloween color. We have zero front seam. Although I did experience a little bit of a CT. Had to do a little plucking at first just to adjust and, and make it okay and it seems to be doing all right. This is a crossover waistband, adds a little dimension to the piece. I also like the fact that there's a decent amount of compression going on here. So again, good for walking. I would go ahead and say that you can absolutely work out in these. In fact, this whole set, you can totally get in some yoga. Now keep in mind, what makes this pet hair resistant is because of that slippery, sleek feel. So you will see in certain lighting, a little bit of shine. It's not that it's sheer, it's just shiny. Overall, I think this is really good everyday legging. I wouldn't necessarily say that it does a whole lot for the peach, but even with the sleekness, it doesn't slide when squatting. So that's a plus. They did a really good job in these leggings. Great quality. You cannot go wrong with an all black set. We have the mock neck full zip thumb hole sports jacket with, this is what I paired it with because I wanted that full black feel. The in my feels, how ironic, cloud full crossover color block seven eighths leggings. Actually, let's talk about this as a set. I eyeballed these off the website and just paired them together. But if you look closely, the leggings are a jet black and the top is a little bit lighter based off the material. Like this is super slippery. This is their cloud full, real soft yoga wear. So the materials make them appear a little bit different. So starting with the jacket, you have a midi crop. So it's a little bit longer. You do have thumb holes. Absolute necessity, thank you very much. What caught my eye were the seams that make up the design of the piece. I really like when seams contour the rib cage. Gives you a little bit of curvature. It adds a little bit of sportiness, that athletic vibe, and I feel like it really does help cinch in the waist and give more of a body look. If you look closely, you do have the crossover band, but you have two seams underneath. First thing I thought of was the Whitney legging. It's a black legging, so you really don't see it at all, but I thought it was worth mentioning. The seam in the back, it's not quite a V seam, like a real high arch, but there is a slight curvature. It's not bland like a boring T seam. No T seams here. But just like the dark cinnamon, very, very squat proof. Fully switching things up here. We're looking at the corset plain cropped sweatshirt in mustard brown with the high-waisted cargo pocket skinny yoga 7 8 leggings in blood orange. So I specifically wanted the blood orange color. So both are in a size small. I think the corset sweatshirt would have looked better if I sized down. It's supposed to be tight right around the rib cage and then overflow a little bit up top. If you look closely, you can see the seam that's meant to lie underneath your chest. And then this heavy rib is supposed to be the cinch. I feel like it's a little too big. It moves around, like look at that. So it doesn't quite line up. I think sizing down may help just kind of keep it a little tighter around this area. Like if you look from the side, it's very loose. I especially am not liking it paired with these. <laughs> not trying to be mean, but this just isn't working for me. So let's talk about the leggings. In theory, I liked the idea of them. I like the cargo style, the pockets. I thought there was a lot of potential to break up my wardrobe a little bit so that I don't have just solid leggings. Little pocket, little cargo life never hurt nobody. But I don't think it's working on me. In fact, I didn't actually realize that there were two bulky seams that run across your quads from the pockets inward. I can feel those seams. It's making me itchy. Yeah, I could do without that. I think that would have been a step up if this just wasn't there altogether. Not to even mention that there's a dreaded front seam CT, but believe it or not, it's actually really flattering on the peach. <laughs> Go figure. The back pockets are nice. 
They are all real pockets, you can use them. But strike three for me is going to be the angled pockets on the sides. Kinda looks like a mistake. I know what they're trying to do, that you're trying to sporty it up a little bit, give us some movement, some dimension, but it's really not working. <laughs> I would have liked to just see them straight. They're seven eighths, so they work lengthwise. Color is really nice, of course they're squat proof. And the material works very well too, very soft. There's just a little too much seams going on everywhere. Even around the top of the waistband, it's a bulky seam, which I hate because that inevitably means that there's going to be a mark around my waist. So I'm gonna say no to these. Let's take a look at the high-waisted back pocket plain slight flare leggings in the color Deep Sage. This is in a small slash petite. These bottoms are just loose enough so that there's no dreaded CT because there's a dang front seam. So the first thing I notice is the really nice let up throughout this baby flare. I'm gonna call it a baby flare because it's not quite a flare legging. Like they said, it's a slight flare. So if you take a look, it's there, but it's not at the same time. Almost looks like it could pass as a wide leg. I think you could get away with sizing down, especially if you're in between sizes, because like I said before, there's a lot of extra room going on here. But you gotta keep in mind, there's a bulky seam at the top. I like to mention that because I'm a fan of flat bands with no seam at the top. This is gonna cause a little bit of dig, especially if you do size down. I will say that this is the very rare occasion where flares are a decent length on me. It's very hard to come by. They're usually long as hell, like I'm mopping the floor with them. Very soft yogi feel. I would say you could definitely get away with wearing these all day. None of this is really compressive, so I feel like all day wear is a yes. 100% squat proof, overall thoughts, I think they did a really good job on these bottoms. Just get rid of the front seam and then we're 100%. Closing the show, these are not jeggings, they're actual leggings this time. We're looking at the crossover pocket denim print 7 8 legging in denim dark blue. First and foremost, denim dark blue. Medium blue, I'm gonna be difficult. I'm gonna say these are medium blue, not dark. <laughs> when I hear dark denim, I think of like a real deep indigo color. These are more of a washed medium. Now they're not necessarily trying to be jeans. Like you're not gonna fool anybody. <laughs> and I don't think they're trying to. Not gonna lie, when I saw them on the website, I was like, you know what, I'll take a chance on these. I wasn't expecting too much out of them. I said there's a good chance that they're gonna appear a little cheapy, but I'll show you some overlap of it really up close. I think they nailed the print on these. Really like that there's no fading either, especially with prints. There's no fading around the meaty areas of my legs. Unlike the other leggings you've seen, there's no shine to these, but yet they still have a little bit of that slippery feel. They're not like the cloud full where it's like yoga leggings. So yet again, they're hitting you with that crossover band. They really like that. Out of everything I shared with you today, these are the most cellulite friendly. I think between the material and the print, it just works. So yeah guys, I'm gonna admit I was sleeping on these at first, but really getting to move around and check them out. These are definitely one of my favorites out of this entire haul. So that's saying something. All right guys, so that was that. Drop a comment with your favorites. Overall, the pieces that stood out to me were without a doubt the denim pieces. The leggings and the jeggings. Hands down, I'm gonna get the most use out of them. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you see anything you like, check out the links down below where I'll have everything individually linked. And don't forget to use my code AshleyGata for 20% off. Thank you again to Halara for making this video possible. And thank you to you for making everything possible. Stay tuned, we have a lot of fun videos coming up. Remember, it is November, so you can only imagine what that means, right? Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.